personally do not think that we should continue this whole everybody trying to be like Fenty Beauty, everybody trying to be like Fenty Beauty, because honestly, everybody should try to be like Fenty Beauty. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Alcolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. So today, we are going to be taking a look at the Firestorm that is the Kylie Cosmetics new concealers. This is her skin concealer. I did purchase the shade Toffee, and we're going to be talking a little bit about her launch we're going to be talking a little bit as well about the controversy that is surrounding her brand right now in terms of whether or not she is trying to one-up fenty and whether or not other brands are really trying to copy fenty beauty right now so with kylie launching her 30 shades of concealer i think it's something that really has become a hot topic that's discussed in the makeup community right now and it has to do with fenty beauty and comparing Fenty Beauty to Kylie Cosmetics, comparing other brands to, Ky uh, uh, to Fenty Beauty and things of that nature. Fenty Beauty did launch their first line of foundations with 40 shades, which was amazing. It wasn't revolutionary in terms of the 40 shades. For being honest, there's other companies who have 40 shades. What they did that was revolutionary was their inclusion. Their inclusion and the promotion of diversity. That's what was revolutionary. I know this video seems a little late because I did film this about three weeks ago, but it's funny how the universe seems to piece things together to allow you to put things out into the world at the right time. Audre Lorde said, I am not free while any woman is unfree, even when her shackles are very different from my own. The makeup industry and the beauty community this last few days have been so mind-boggling and the amount of things that we have seen especially with the Tarte Cosmetics new Shape Tape foundation launch have been absolutely mind-blowing. That's what people really really gravitated towards and that's why so many people are so defensive of Fenty Beauty and I guess because I look at things as more of like the glass half full I will say more brands should copy Fenty Beauty and should follow in their footsteps. I'm sorry everyone at this point have seen this picture floating around. This picture right here clearly depicts exactly what is wrong right now with the beauty industry. How is it possible that an entire community is completely disparaged when it comes to something as unifying, something that is supposed to be a one size fit all, something like makeup? How is this even possible? It's 2018. What it is, is about the inclusion. Inclusion and the spread of diversity. Where is the humanity even present within this image? And how is it possible that so many people still don't see what is wrong with the picture that is literally right before our eyes? As it, We as a community are never going to be completely free, are never going to be completely unified if one subsect, if one part of this huge, huge community is being isolated, being segregated, being put as second class, being excluded, and not being allowed on the spectrum. And that is why this message is actually so fitting, unfortunately, with what it is I was even saying, uh, talking about with the Kylie concealers. If you show more people like me using your products on your brand pages, guess what? I'm gonna buy more of your products. It's just, it's logical sense. Because we, as the black community, we are not an afterthought. It doesn't matter that more shades are being launched. As we clearly have seen, something that is supposed to be unifying has now become so political. And I think Patricia Bright said it best. The beauty community is actually a reflection of exactly what it is that we do experience in our daily lives. With racial tensions, with disrespect, with a lot of these other issues that we do experience within our communities, the beauty community is actually reflecting some of those right here, right now. I think brands are, they're missing the point. I, and, I, and that's the thing that's so frustrating, it's so annoying. It's about, 
the presentation and representation of diversity. Shonda Rhimes said, words have power, TV has power, my pen has power. And I wanna tell you guys that makeup has power. The beauty community has so much power to move and to change and to influence. And we have seen that, for example, with the Fenty Foundations, the unifying glory that came about from the launch of a single foundation range. The power that was spoken, the life that was breathed into the Black community, into so many different communities, because everyone could say, yes, I am included. That is a message that makeup can really bring. That is the power that makeup has. And this power can be used to build and unfortunately to exclude and destroy. The only reason why I even decided to go and try the Lancome Tint I Don't Foundation and discovered that it was a bomb ass foundation, it's actually one of my favorite foundations, was after Lupita became, who was it, like her, their brand ambassador. They had made darker shades that would fit her, like it, they fit Lupita's skin tone. So you know what that said to me? It says, yes, you care about diversity and you care about putting out products that women of color can use, but that you also value us enough to show us on your pages, that you're saying we are your customers as well and we are people that you are catering towards as well. I personally do not think that we should continue this whole everybody trying to be like Fenty Beauty, everybody trying to be like Fenty Beauty, because honestly, everybody should try to be like Fenty Beauty with promoting the diversity, promoting the diversity, showing darker skin tones. So you can disagree with me and that's okay, but I think it's a good thing that Kylie did launch the 30 Shades. I do think it's a good thing that other brands try to launch, you know, more shades and try to be like Fenty Beauty. I think it's a good thing, but also their marketing strategies do need to change and they need to become more inclusive with the with the representation that they are putting on their brand pages. Anyways, that is my spiel. Let me know in the comment section what you guys do think about this whole Fenty Beauty versus Kylie Beauty versus every other freaking brand in the world right now. Before we do get into this video, do not forget to subscribe down below and to give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. It actually does help to spread the word so that other individuals can enjoy the same footage you are viewing too. All right, I'm gonna stop chit-chatting now. Let's get in. So the shade that I had ordered was Toffee. At first I saw this, I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. Then I read it and it says, I couldn't wait to share my new sh um, eyeshadows with you. I hope you adore them as much as I do. I love you. That's not what I ordered. What? That That is not what I ordered whatsoever. I did not order eyeshadows and that's what it says on the card. I was reading this like, who was this meant for? So what I wanna do is a comparison, a few comparison swatches. This is the Kylie Concealer that I ordered in the shade Toffee. So this is what Toffee looks like. I'm gonna swatch Toffee right in the center here. So I feel like it's really warm, very, very warm. That's not the end of the world. So for my regular highlighter, I usually go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. You guys see this all the time in my videos. So I'm gonna swatch, the, yeah, okay. You know what? I don't know, I don't get this. I don't know. So I, I mean, I only bought one of these concealers. I bought these on the launch day because I was like, oh my God, I don't want these to sell out. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. This is what I highlight underneath my eyes with. This is the Kylie Concealer in the shade Toffee, and this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. This I can use as a spot concealer, and this one is my under eye highlighter. So, let's quickly read what it says on their website about this concealer. So, almond, they described almond as a rich hazelnut with yellow undertones for deep skin tone. But almond just kind of looked a little light, so that's why I was nervous to get it. And then the one above that, cinnamon, 
is described as a warm beige with red undertones. Beige does not sound good. That sounds ashy AF. So toffee sounded like a happy medium for me. At least I thought. It says it's a warm chestnut with yellow undertones for deep skin tone. And y'all can see clearly there is literally no yellow undertones in this whatsoever. However, we are still gonna go in because I do wanna try this out, obviously. Like I usually do, this is the applicator. It's, it's, uh, it's a really nice applicator, actually. I like the way it is shaped. It's, um, it seems very flexible. Ooh, it's very pink, very, very pink. OMFG. This is really, really pink and i don't know why my eyes are starting to burn a little bit like can you guys see how like my my skin looks green next to it because my olive undertones are really showing with this um concealer wow okay i'm just going ahead and applying the concealer everywhere i usually apply concealer and the thing is you can tell that it's lighter than me so if this was the right undertone, this would have been a good match. It's just way, the, the undertone is so off. It's so off, <laughs> this is so painful. Of course, they may be involved in product development and testing out the products and maybe even with like eyeshadows and stuff, you know, with knowing the kind of stuff that they want. However, these are just celebrities and they have makeup lines, okay. Branding and marketing, yes, will be a big thing. But the actual products themselves, unfortunately, I don't think that these people have necessarily enough knowledge on, you know, years of working on other people's skin tones and color theory and all that stuff. I don't necessarily think these individuals have that. This is so bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Like the undertone is so off. If I did buy like almond, for example, it wouldn't have worked out well for me personally because it would have just been too light underneath my eyes. So I am going to go in with the beauty blender and blend this out. Let's see. You know what? It does blend out nicely, I'm going to say. I like the fact that it doesn't dry down completely right away. It does seem to take some time. Can I be honest with you guys? I'm actually always sad when products don't work out. Like, I, I would love to find more things for you guys that do work as, like, alternatives and other options for you guys, which is why I love doing reviews on products and not just, you know, tutorials alone. So I will say the consistency is definitely more... It's more of a... Cre it's a creamy consistency. Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 490 i do i've been liking this to contour my face a bit so this is not going well already i'm really saddened by this i would have wanted to go in with the mac times patrick star collection powder however i feel like i should i need to go in with a yellow like a yellow powder because this is going downhill really really quickly for today, I'm gonna have to go in with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. This is like the first thing I saw in my collection of powders right now for me to use. So, yeah. Oh, that looks so much better. Do you guys see the gold? Do you guys see the golden coming back? Oh, thank you, Jesus. This was definitely the perfect powder to use for this. The powder is sitting nicely on it. I'm going to be honest. It's it's sitting nicely, so uh, we don't have any problems there yet. You know, my concealer, it shouldn't, the powder I put over it shouldn't necessarily be the determining factor as to whether or not I'm able to use my concealer shade. What the hell? Especially for a concealer, like, this is like $20 or $22, right? The product itself cost, yeah, the product itself cost $20. So thank you, Ben Nye, for saving this video. And I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then we're gonna come on back. Even though like you can see underneath my eyes is a little more golden, but I think the peachiness of the concealer is definitely still peeking through. For blush today, I'm going to be going in with the 
Max Raisin. And I'm going to be going in with the Artist Couture Times Jackie Ina Le Bronze Highlighter. Ooh. This highlighter is blinding. Okay, so I went ahead and I changed my shirt, but I took out my um took my rollers out of my hair. So I'm gonna go in and spray a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus on my face. Oops. All right, so overall, looking at um, the concealer now, I will say that after going in with the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder, I do think that it helps to brighten it up. However, you guys saw before, this thing is so red like it has so much pink and red undertones and it really really makes me sad even with the descriptions on their website they kept describing it as peachy but a lot of the shades were actually really really red she tried it <laughs> in the sense that it was a flop it's uh, it's unfortunate but it just is too pink and too red so i will have to say that for now, I will see, like I will go through the rest of the day and I will see if the, con the concealer does hold up because there might be some of you out there who do like your concealer to look warmer. I don't know, I personally don't. I like my concealer to be um, more on the golden side of things, whether or not this will work. But for me personally, this is not a rebuy. For $20, I feel like I definitely should have seen something a little more revolutionary. like. I don't think there's anything very special about this formula, at least not yet. Like, it's not breaking apart, which is what a concealer is supposed to do. It's not supposed to break apart. It's not creasing, which is what a good concealer would do. So I do think, yeah, okay, it's all right. But we'll see later on today if it really does hold up. If you guys would like to see me do a wear test between the Kylie concealer as well as my favorite concealer, which is the LA Girl Pro concealer, do let me know down below. I think I may leave a poll somewhere here. Um, and I will do one just for you guys, but it did take a while for it to dry down that I will say So be careful if you're like somebody who's in a rush I don't think this is necessarily one of the concealers you might want to go in with because if you then try to go in straight with powder It may end up getting patchy. So do keep that in mind All right Let's spend the rest of the day looking at this concealer Okay, okay guys. Yes <laughs> You have to go right now why not? You look fabulous. Look at me, Rita. Look at my hair. Your hair looks so nice. Oh, maybe I should remove this one. First. Okay, fine. That's Rita. Looking at oh my god, look at her checking herself out now. <laughs> Looking at my um my makeup. Can you tell me how do you think it looks today? Oh, fabulous. It looks fantastic. I like the shine. You like the shine? Don't... Okay. Okay, so what do you think about like under my eyes? Do you, is it creasing, caking? Like, how does it look underneath my eyes? Uh, I don't see any caking. No? Yeah. No, it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'll have to agree with Seabelle. It, um, it does look pretty good so far. Um, I don't see any like breaking apart or anything. So I will say the concealer is holding up nicely and it's not like causing me to get super oily. I know my nose is like really shiny, but I'm always shiny on my nose. But yeah. It looks pretty good so far. Okay, so it is currently 10.48 p.m. I am all of a sudden starting to lose my voice, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, this concealer is definitely gonna have to be a no for me, and my makeup progressively throughout the day just got more and more orange. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, I look so warm right now. So I will say that in terms of the product itself being a good product, does it hold up? Yeah, it does hold up, but is this worth $20? Is this worth spending your money on? On top of shipping? No. This is definitely a no for me. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I do appreciate you guys stopping by. I will leave a few of my other videos right here that you can check out, my other regrets and rebuys. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe down below as well. Thank you so very much for watching and I hope to see you in another video very soon. Until then, stay blessed and stay golden.